Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code ONFIFA at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players as you can see down below. Check them out, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, what on earth to a brand new video guys. Then we're showing you a video of a really, really useful method um, that is basically trading with fluctuation cards on FIFA. So basically you want to basically make a little list of footbin of the average price of players and then go out and snipe them or trade with them. So first of all, I know Ishak here sells for 52k. So that's going to be what I'm searching for now. I'm going to go and check his price here right now. So if I can get any deals on him, obviously 46 isn't really very good. We could sell him for 52 at some point, but it's not a great deal. That's going to be the first one and I also know this Maldini here like I basically have no players sell at certain prices so I'm going to explain now um, what I do so I'm just going to pretty much use a footbin graph and go through special cards then maintain look at their price and see what they're going for right now and then obviously over time they will go up and down like throughout the day this is all I do I've got a couple of icons in the transfer list to show you and give you an example so if you look in here we've got these um this Trezor gear I paid 70k for he's now 90k Party 44k51. These gigs are guys that I bought before these stupid promos came out. We've got this badge here for 142. Look, you can see here he was 155 earlier. Now he's up at 180. So we're going to list him at 177. Um, then you look at the profit on that. This is how easy it is to trade. And Barnes for 136. See, right now he's at a pretty low price. But we're going to go list him up for 161 because he will sell at that. Like it's that easy. Like literally, you just do that. That's literally it. That it's that easy to make coins. But I'm going to show you what I do to find these icons because I feel like you guys need to see a little bit more detail on it. So there's a few different ways you can do it. You can either do this if you want to get the cheap ones. So you can go down to like 75k. Check in here. Obviously you see there's loads and loads of cards. If you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, go to like 72k and check here. Now so 71 is the cheapest, 70k or whatever, something like that. You'll see they're all really crap players. Like you don't want any of these basically. But if you go down to like 70 and a half, you can sit and snipe them if you want to. Like deals will come up. I mean 70, sorry, deals will come up. Like it's just one of them things. You have to be patient. Now, obviously Trezor Gate came up and he's worth 90k. That's a perfect example. That's the first way. Or obviously, oh shit. Or obviously you can do this um, with the moments as well. So go into here, but prime icon moments, and then put it up to about 100, I think it is, maybe 95. Yeah, so these VAs obviously are the cheapest moments. Obviously, you need to avoid that one. Obviously, you can go up to like 120 here. You'll see there's loads of different cards. Sometimes it's worth just checking through them. But obviously, there's no deal. I mean, loud up here is 110. This guy does sell for about 1, 2, 3, but obviously, it's not worth it for 110. But I might take the bid if I can get the bid for cheap. And then, alternatively, you can do this. So go like 100 and then 300 if you want to. Um, this feel okay, that doesn't work anymore apparently. But you can do 400 then maybe if that works, and then go in here like maybe 500. See if that works now. Um, I'm not sure if it does. No, neither does that. Wow, the icon feels have really gone weird recently. This will be a way I'd do it. And I go in here like this. So I just go 400k. Uh, we'll get rid of that altogether. Like we'll just spin it off. Um, and I'd put in here maybe 300k. And me, oh, I've got moments in us. God's sake. Anyway, 200k and then just skip through, um, first of all, to get some deals. If you've got lower coins, obviously there's going to be loads of pages, like maybe 20. you just got to get through them all. It's worth when you get there to keep doing it. Obviously, it will get your market ban pretty fast, but um, it's a good thing to do if you've got some coins. Obviously, you can see by my profits. Obviously, just investigate now. Check the but You can obviously compare pricing them as well and check for an example, but sometimes it's better to use footbin. I do know most of the prices now, so I don't need to do that, but um, and Zog is obviously really overpriced. Um, and this Pirates is pretty overpriced too, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Nothing really up here. Right as well, 81. I mean, there you go. This could be a deal. We'll just check in on Footbin now. I'll open Footbin on my PC, guys, and we'll investigate and see if this is a buy. So, Ian Wright, 85 rated, 81k is definitely not a buy. You'd be able to sell him at, to be fair, you could sell him at 88. I mean, we'll just buy him for the sake of the content. We'll sell him for 89. He does sell for 89, so that's. Um, not a bad one, but obviously it's a pretty like it's the worst profit I've probably made in a long time. But I'm just gonna buy it for the scenes of the video. Obviously, you get a 201. Do the same thing again. Skip all the way there. Obviously, it takes like say 20 pages or so. Um, maybe not that many. But yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop a like and leave a sub. Um, thank you for watching too. It is really appreciated. Obviously, you have to be patient with this. Like 146 or more, I'm sure is a buy. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a buy. I'm gonna go and check it after. Um, I'm going to probably cry if it's not, but um, 
I'm really am that sure whether to buy. Um, you can see like skulls here, 93k, not a deal. Um, but then you look at like the 81 there, obviously 81k, you could probably sell that on anyway. And go to this page here, Trezegay Van Nistroy. Obviously Trezegay isn't a buy. Van Nistroy isn't also a buy look, he's like 150. Um, but yeah, there's loads of different cards that keep getting listed all the time. You just got to be patient with it, obviously. Here you can keep, if you keep it below the hour as well, obviously you can keep searching for a while. Um, I know none of those are deals. That Herrera looks interesting. Oh, Herrera Seedov, no, he's dropped as well. Um, Giggs isn't a buy. Van Basten, no. And Zagi, no. You just keep going through like this. You can obviously sit here. And obviously, the whole year's deals I'm missing right now because I don't know all the prices off the top of my head. But I'm just doing it as a quick example. Like Suka's dropped a lot as well, actually. Wow. Maybe that's more. 100 and, wait, 106? No, he's dropped too. They've really dropped like, a lot of them. It's frustrating, actually, but um, you can see here loads of pawns just got listed. Um, they go more 169. We've got someone for 160. Easy. Get two so for 130. Nope, apparently not. The netty 150 isn't a buy. Um, Seedorf, Nakata, no. Overmars, no. But you can look how I'm sat now, guys. I'm getting the perfect like search at the moment through them, which is really good. I don't know what Clive actually goes for. It's not a buy though, but like I say, you can get some really good players. Like obviously Essien here, one two one. That I'm pretty sure is a deal. I'm gonna go and buy it because I'm pretty pretty sure it's a deal. We'll investigate in a second, guys. Obviously, we'll go and um, list these up in Zagi for ninety one. Wait a second. Yeah, because there was Vieri. That, I mean, we'll get at least ninety nine for that. Obviously, I'm not saying it's an insane deal, but it's a bit of profit. Um, take that like that. Um, Socrates, no, and that's the end there, guys. Like, obviously, I can't go any further now because I've hit the point, and we're gonna go and listen out honestly now and see what I can get for them. So this will be the end of the video now, guys. We're gonna just go and list them up. So Bobby Moore, um, should be, yeah. This, wow, that's a decent one. There we go, guys. That is a lovely price. One seventy he goes for. Uh, we'll go one seven two because I don't have any rush to sell them. I've got enough coins. Then we've got um, Felipe Inzaghi, uh, Filippo Inzaghi. Uh, did we pay 98 for that? I think it was. Basically, he sells um, upwards. To be fair, we need to get him gone. But he's a bit of a high. We'll go 105 because it's not a great deal. But he will sell, you know what I mean? Like, there's no, like, crazy buy on him. But Essien here, 121. This is the one where I just took the risk because I saw his price. This is where you can be stupid sometimes and mess up because you don't know the price. This is what I don't advise to do, but... Just for the video, I thought, sod it, I'll do it and hope for the best. I'm pretty confident he's a one, yeah, there we go, he's a 140. So, we've made 50k in this video alone, guys, which is absolutely unreal, like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys might struggle to make this in, like, an hour or so. We can just prove that, that it's so easy to do it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed. Please do drop a like if you're new as well. Do sub too. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon with a brand